Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can easily add this bestseller badge to show up on our product pages for products that we add a tag of bestseller to. So maybe some of your products uh, you know are in the top category of your orders. So we can add this tag to them and then this will display, hopefully giving a little bit of social proof and increasing sales. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find uh, a duplicate theme that I can work in and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna edit this code. We only have to edit a few files. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go to this theme.liquid file. There's a lot going on here. So the only thing that we truly need to worry about though is adding this quick little link tag. So I'm gonna copy and paste it right here. All this code is gonna be available in the description. Look for the link to my GitHub, but we're gonna paste this in and you can see that it is a style sheet reference. Um, basically this is giving us the access to the Google material icons because we're gonna have an icon show up within there. So now that that's in place, I can close that because I'm not gonna use it again. And we can open up this main product file. Cool. Now, this may be different depending on the theme that you're using, but the idea should be about the same. So what we're gonna look for is, um, we're gonna add to these blocks right here. So if we come down here, um, you'll see that there are a few blocks in place, starting with the app block. And I'm gonna just add right below this to keep it nice and neat. And I'm just gonna add a type of bestseller. I'm gonna give it a name, the bestseller badge. And I think that's all we need to add. Sweet. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna look for where these blocks are being referenced in the code. So if I scroll up towards the top, we're gonna see that there's this for block in the section dot blocks. So we just added our block below for the customizer, but we need to actually display it. So I'm gonna come in here I'm just gonna copy this. And instead of app, I'm gonna look for bestseller because that's the type or the ID that we're referencing. And instead of block, I'm gonna render a snippet that we're gonna create called bestseller. So it doesn't exist yet, so it's gonna be kind of uh, upset about that, but we're gonna create it right now. So if I come to snippets, add snippet, and I'm gonna call it bestseller.liquid, excellent. So now I just need to do a few things. The first thing I'm gonna do is add some HTML here. So I'm gonna add a div with a class of tag, and there's only gonna be a few things nested in here. The first is going to be a span from the material icons, but I'm gonna copy and paste that so that I don't screw it up. The other is just gonna be a P tag that says bestseller. So let me copy and paste this span. And again, copy and paste this I recommend from um, the GitHub link. Perfect. Cool. So now if we save that, this is a rendering temp uh, snippet. So this would work, but we need some logic here because we only want to display this uh, when we have that tag added to the product. And then we also need some styles to spruce this up. So I'm going to go ahead and copy some styles and you can just paste these in as well at the top. So all we're doing is making this look a little prettier. And then there's some um, one little change that we need to make in here. So if we go back to where we are rendering our bestseller, we need to add this tags right here. So we're gonna call it product.tags. And now by doing this, we should have access to the tags in this snippet because we're passing them. So I'm gonna do this. and save that. And now I'm going to um, make sure, we need to make sure that we actually have a product with this tag added. So you can click into any of these. You can also do a bulk editor. So say I wanna add it to like these three. I believe if I come here and go to add tags, I'm gonna add bestseller. You can create that. Okay, and I believe that's worked. We can click in and you can also just add it here, but okay, I see that it's added. So now if I come back to my theme and I'm going to customize this and then I'm gonna to go to not just the default product page, but I'm gonna to go to one that I just added the tag to so I know it's there. And now if I go to add block here, I should see it pop up there at the beginning and I'm gonna add it right above the title because I think that would look the best. Okay, so I don't see it yet, but I'm gonna save this and preview and see what I'm missing here. Oh, and you know what? I just realized I made a silly mistake. If we come back to the code here, I put this 
on the when, and this is incorrect, we need to add this right below that to the actual rendering of the snippet. So that was uh, my bad, apologies. Now, if we move it there and save, I'm hoping I can refresh and boom, there it is. So this is good, a good placement for it. Um, we have this nice little icon. And of course you can change the background color and font color, you know, whatever you'd like to do there. But this should give you a real quick and dirty idea of how you can add a badge like this to your product display page. And it's very simple to add, very simple to remove. And you can do it for other things other than bestseller as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay tuned um, for more Shopify related content. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.